Okay, so now we've got eight to part B, angles and circles, which some students do find a bit um, confusing. Okay, so um, this is something which we have to really try to brainstorm with, and you'll notice that maybe some people think of things in one particular way and others in other ways, because uh, with these type of geometry questions, angles and circles and such, there are normally more than one way of answering a question. Okay, there's different ways you can get questions answered. Okay, and sometimes you find a particular angle before other angles, depending how depending how you see the question. Now, so let's have a look at what it says. It says A, B, C, D, and E. A, B, C, D, and E. They all lie on the circle, so they're all on the circumference of the circle. It says angle A E D is 102 degrees. Angle BAC is 38. BAC is 38. BC is equal to CD. Now that's a very important point here. Okay, that's going to help us most probably. This is equal to that. That means we have an isosceles triangle here. Okay, it's a very important point. Now, that's all the information they give us, and they've told us to find the letters of U, V, W, and X. Okay, so it doesn't really matter which order you find them in, as long as you find them. Okay, so. Um, for me, I mean, I can see straight away U is going to be the same as 38. Why? Okay, this is why. Some people don't understand this very well. Now, I see this is the angle U. Okay, with angles and circles, always try to, if you're finding angle, always follow back where it originates from. So where does this angle start from? So this arm, or you can say leg if you want, I think this is the head, it's this leg of the angle goes back to C. Okay, you can think of that as a shoe. And this leg of the angle goes all the way back to B. Those are two points in the circumference. Now you think, think to yourself, what other angle stands on the same two feet? Think of those as feet. Well, there's an, only one other line that's coming forward. There's two other lines, but this is one of the lines that's coming from C. Where does that go to? It goes to A. And there's an angle that goes towards B from that. So this angle is the same as that angle. Two angles which stand on the same two feet and are both both on the circumference, they are equal to each other. Well, you don't say feet, and you don't say that this is the head of the angle. What you say is two angles that are subtended by the same arc. Okay, this is an arc BC, and they both are standing on the same arc. You could even say that. They're both standing on the same arc. So you can see angle U stands on the same arc as angle 38. Okay, and they're both on the circumference of the circle. They're both formed at the circumference of the circle and in the same segment. Okay, if you look at BC, this is the minor segment, that's the major segment. So they're both in the same segment and they're both standing on the same arc. So you can say that U is equal to 38. Now, um, in some of the later papers, they do sometimes ask for reasons. So um, I'm going to write the reasons down here, although in this particular question they didn't ask for the reasons and you would lose no marks for not writing down the reasons. Okay, but some of the more recent papers I've seen, they sometimes they do ask for the reasons. So you can say angles on the same arc. That's perfectly fine to write it like this, as long as it can be read. Angles on the same arc. Okay? So if they did ask for reasons, that's what you would say. Alright, so that's angle U out of the way. Um, now, let's see, can we do angle V easier, or can we can we do angle V easily? We know that this is 38 now. Okay, um, I personally can find another angle a bit e easier than angle V, but anyway, let's, let's do angle V. Let's see now, angle V, 38, mm -hmm. angle V, UVW. What would it be equal to? It would be equal to this angle here. Okay, V and this angle seven the same arc. All right, so now we've got it. Because you see we ha here we have an isosceles triangle. Okay, so this is angle U. Let me just do it like this. Okay, always use pencils, by the way, when you're doing this type of questions. So let's mark this with two lines like that. Too thick, actually. Make it a bit thinner. Okay, so I'm going to mark this angle with two lines. 
I know this angle um, is the same as the angle, 38. And I also know that this angle is the same as this angle because this is an isosceles triangle. All right? This is an isosceles triangle, so this angle is the same as U, so this is also 38 degrees. Now we can see that where does this angle stand on? It stands on C and D. You see that? 38 goes back to C and it goes back to D. And what other angle stands on C and D? Well, it's V. Okay, V also goes back to C and D. C, A, B. And this is C, B, D. C, A, D. C, B, D. Both stand on C, C, D. Both of them are on the circumference. Both of them are in the, ma in the major sector. Both of them are in the same sector compared to this, this chord here. So this angle must also be the same as that. So this is also 38. Okay, so that's how we can come up with that. So it's a bit of brainstorming, a bit of thinking, seeing what we've been given, and then working it out. Okay, that's how you got. You know, they gave you these these marks for a reason. Okay, so for you, so because when I was looking at saying, okay, V must be the same as this angle because they stand the same mark. What is this angle? Well, they haven't given to us. Then next to it is this symbol here showing that this line is the same as that line, meaning this is an isosceles triangle, and the base angles in the isosceles triangle are equal. So that you can find this is 38. That must also be 38. Okay, so we can say here for a reason that V is equal to 38, okay, um, you can say that, if you wanted to give a reason for that, it would be a bit long, you'd say, okay, V, angle V is equal to the angle D, B, D, I'm saying something and writing something else, D, B, C, D, B, C, okay, you can say angles on the same arc. And if you want to, you can say DBC is equal to angle U. Why? You can say base angles in an isosceles triangle. Now you don't have to, um, you don't have to give these reasons in this particular question because they didn't ask you to. Okay, so you can just write the answers down as I have. I'm just doing that because sometimes in more recent questions they do ask you to give reasons. So just a bit of practice of what to write, okay? You don't have to write anything elaborate or something like that. Even using symbols for angles like that, it's fine, okay? Now we've got to find angle W, okay, angle W. Um, there's probably a number of ways we could do it, okay? However, I can spot something which is very important and does help. Now, if you look at A, we'll go this way, A, B, D, Complete it. That's called a cyclic quadrilateral. Okay, a cyclic quadrilateral is a four-sided shape, okay, polygon, where the um, all four corners must be on the circumference of the circle. All four corners must be on the circumference of the circle. Okay, which this is the case. We know that A, B, C, A, B, D, and E, A, B, D, and E are all on the circumference. So this shape, A, B, D, E. A, B, D, E is a cyclic quadrilateral, and one of the properties of a cyclic quadrilateral is that the opposite angles are supplementary. So we can say that W is equal to 102 degrees. You can say opposite angles. No. What am I talking about? W is equal to 180 minus 102 degrees, which is 78 degrees. Why? Because they are you can say angles in a, we'll say opposite angles, better. Opposite angles, 180 minus 102, say opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral. They will understand that, okay? You can say are supplementary if you want. Are supplementary. Supply. Mentary, meaning they add up to 180 degrees, okay? So W plus 120, 102 is 180, so W must be 78 degrees. Okay, so that's W, 78. And then X, last but not least, we've got to find the angle X. Okay, this is the angle X. Um, 
let's have a look at our x. What do we know? Okay, so we know this is 78. Okay, so you could find x using the triangle ABC. If you look at it, you've got a triangle A, B, C. I'll just draw it out here. Try to draw a proper triangle. That's 38. I'm going to make it a bit bigger so I can write. I'll draw it with straight lines. There you go. That's A, B, and C. Something like that it looks. Okay? So this is A. One second, yeah. This is A. This is B. And this is C. Okay, we know that this is 38 degrees. We know that this is 78 plus 38. This whole angle here is 78 plus 38. That's 116. So we can find what this x is. x is going to be 180 minus the sum of 116 and 38. Okay? So just take your calculator and you calculate that if you want. So you've got 180 minus the sum of 116 and 38, which gives you 26 degrees. So x is 26 degrees. x equals 26 degrees. Again, okay, you can say angles in a triangle. Okay, that's a good enough reason. So x equals 26 degrees. And there we have the end of question 8, part B. Thank you very much for listening or watching.